There are ways of reasoning that are not reliable. There are ways of thinking about issues that will not help you arrive at the truth. Faith is one of those ways. If you want to make a hypothesis, you want an opportunity to sit at the adult table, great. Make a claim, we'll look at the claim. The problem, faith, to cognitive sickness. It's exactly what it is. Here's a quick test. Are you willing to consider your beliefs? Can you tell me how you're wrong? Think about a belief you have. Can you think of a way that you can say, I'm not saying you are wrong, how could you be wrong? If you can't answer that question, and you're not willing to reconsider a belief, cha-ching, chances are you are delusional. <laughs> if you want to sit at the adult table, you bring your evidence, and we discuss this. If you don't want to make empirical claims, if you want to live in make-believe land, then you can take your books, and you can go to the children's table. And then you can be do whatever you want at the children's table. If you're afraid of offending students, don't be. People respect you more and not less. By the way, God does not heal amputees, and I want to know why. I put the Dalai Lama up there just because, just in case someone was thinking I was overly picking on Christians or Islam, that, that's not true. I'm equally hostile to all faith based <laughs> in which I said, someone was saying the Dalai Lama, talking about the Dalai Lama reincarnating, and I said, are you freaking, that's total bullshit. <laughs> and people, the whole class gasped. How could you say, and I thought, oh my God, are these all Buddhists? Is this what <laughs> presidential candidates for the Republican Party believe that God has personally, personally <laughs> spoken to them and asked them to run. And I want to be, I want to be very clear about this. I'm not a Democrat and I'm not facetious about that either. I don't vote party lines, I vote for people. There has to be a price to be paid for that. Some price must be paid, but the electorate unfortunately doesn't doesn't want to pay for it, we don't want to vote these guys down. Why? It starts here. It starts with us. It starts in academia. And again, this is not about a conclusion. This is about a process. This isn't about abortion or gun control or women's rights. It's about none of that. It's about a process that you can use that's reliable, that will bring you to the truth, so that you can lawfully align your beliefs with reality. We felt, we bought into this idea that there's somehow something virtuous about this. No, it's a bad way of reasoning. It will not allow you to arrive at the truth. A lot of people are sick and tired of being held hostages to the delusions of others. I am one of those people.